Looking at contemporary science, be it cognitive neuroscience or quantum physics, it might seem that there is little disagreement about free will. Nobody seems to believe in it. And yet, as an English essay Samuel Johnson said over 200 years ago, all theory is against freedom of the will, all experience for it. There is something extremely counterintuitive about the idea that everything in the world is predetermined, whether by God, by particles of physics, by genes, by laws of nature, or even by particular historical or social context. Not only tends this to turn humans into automatons, but this stance has obvious implications for questions of responsibility and guilt. Free will is usually associated with two types of understanding. First, that we could have done otherwise, or we could do otherwise. And secondly, that we are the originators of our thoughts and actions. The first of those ideas that we could do and, and could have done otherwise, um, let's think about, for example, um, drug addicts and people with mental uh, problems, how we, we view that there is something different about their responsibility, both in moral and legal terms. The second idea, that we are the originators of our thoughts and actions, is something that a lot of brain scientists are busy with these days, trying to look into the brain, trying to find that original causation for our thoughts and actions. Hasn't been found so far, so that might, of course, um, explain why many of, many of those scientists actually do not believe in free will. Uh, free will is a topic of, of enormous interdisciplinary significance and scope. In philosophy, where this topic has been discussed literally for thousands of years, uh, there are two major camps, the determinists and the libertarians, who do believe in free will. But then there's also this made, like a third party, the so-called compatibilist, who think that free will and determinism are in fact compatible. And in many ways, it is this position that comes closest to our common sense understanding that life is in fact a combination of fate and choices. So by the end of that seminar, hopefully, you will have a clearer idea about whether the fact that you are now watching this video is really your choice or was it inevitable. <laughs>